I take it you knew this boy? I just can't believe he's gone. We've all known each other for the longest. He was like his best friend. What are you guys doing here? We had a tree crew cutting the trees along this street, and we're going to check the tops of the poles and our equipment to make sure everything's still safe. I still don't really understand what happened. Mike, he thought it would be fun to ride his bike after the storm. It was pretty bad. It knocked down trees and branches all over. We don't really know for sure what happened, but a neighbor saw him riding up and down the street just before he rode his bike over a live power line that had fallen. Electricity is pretty dangerous, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I'm sure your friend thought that why he was dead when he saw it hanging there through the trees like it was. We all saw a movie once. The lines were flailing around with sparks coming out the ends. Sometimes that kind of thing can happen, but most of the time, it just sits there. You can have thousands of volts running through it and just be perfectly still. Just because a wire is down, guys, doesn't mean it's dead. It's always better to assume any down wire is live until the power company tells you otherwise. It's always better to be safe, not sorry. Hey Jack, you know how you always talk about making that website? Yeah. Check this out. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Angel. Today we're going to talk about something really serious. Something that can hurt you or even kill you. Electricity, it's all around us. We use it every day. We use it from power to cook with, light to see, and it powers everything from trains to TVs. But electricity can be dangerous. You know how cool it is to see lightning light up the sky? How uncool it is to see the damage it can do? So when electricity strikes a person, that can be deadly. We have to respect electricity because if we take it for granted just for one split second, that could be it, lights out. So with the help of our power company, we're gonna take a closer look at electricity how to use it safely, and what to do in case someone gets hurt. Today, we're gonna learn how to be safe, not sorry. Did you get that? Yeah. All right, great job, guys. Okay, that was excellent. okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, let's look at what's next. So what is electricity, and where does it come from? Electricity begins with atoms, the basic unit of all matter. Every atom has at least one electron, which orbits around a nucleus. When electricity contacts an object, it causes the electrons in the atoms of that object to move. The electrons don't move very far, just to the next atom. The outside force that moves the electrons is called voltage. Electricity is produced at power plants where various sources of mechanical energy, such as wind, water, or steam, are used to turn turbines. The turbines turn electromagnets that are surrounded by heavy coils of wire. This causes the electrons in the wire to move from atom to atom, thus generating electricity. Oh, hi, Keila. Hi, Mike. So you work here at the training center, right? Yes, I do. I'm responsible for providing training for the guys out in the field. That's good. We're trying to learn more about electricity and how to stay safe around it. That's great because a lot of people don't realize how dangerous electricity is. Well, you guys are the experts. You work around electricity every day. How do you stay safe? Well, it's everybody's responsibility to stay safe. We follow our company's safety policies, we work together, and we use PPE to work around electricity. PPE? Yes, personal protective equipment. Just like a fireman would use certain equipment to fight fires, in electrical field, we have certain gear that we use to work around electricity safely. Oh. So your PPE allows you to work directly with power lines and other power equipment? That's correct. How much electricity is in those lines? Well, actually it depends on where the wires are. You can see 345,000 volts of electricity, or you can see as low as 27,000 volts of electricity, and even lower. Volt is short for voltage, right? That's correct. Voltage is the measure of force with which electricity flows. The voltage in the line is like the pressure of water in a hose when you open a valve. Okay, but I still don't understand. Those wires are insulated, right? So why do you need all that special gear? Well, actually, that's a misconception. This plastic coating on the wire is only protected from weather and coming in contact with trees. It's not like the wires in your home that are actually insulated to protect you from electricity. So if the wires conduct electricity and that black stuff is in any sort of insulation, then how is it that a bird can sit on a wire without getting hurt? Well, the bird is actually not grounded. Electricity is always seeking a path to ground. 
If electricity finds a better route to the ground, it will leave the wires and travel through that conductor instead. Oh, I see. Because the bird isn't touching any ground, the electricity continues to flow through the wire. That's correct. But of course, if the bird was to touch the wire and the pole at the same time, it would get electrocuted. Wait a second. How come the electricity doesn't flow down the pole and injure people on the ground? You know what, that's a great question. On top of the poles are insulators, and these insulators provide protection from the electricity to go to ground. Insulators can be made out of glass, ceramic, or plastic. The wire actually sits in the cradle here, and as long as the wire stays in that cradle, it can't go to ground. So this is what protects us from having thousands of volts of electricity running all over the place. That's correct, and that's why it's important not for these to be damaged. You know what, maybe if you have time tomorrow, maybe I could take you over to a substation to show you some of the substation equipment. That sounds great, Mike. Thank you so much. Yeah, so does I'm here at the power company to talk with Warren Rogers about kids and electrical safety. Hi, Warren. Hi, Tyra. What's it like to be a safety administrator here at the power company? Well, safety administrator is a great job because my role is to go out and work with our employees so they can do their job safe. So ultimately, they can go home and be with their families. So I admire the project that you guys are working on because essentially you're being safety administrators. You want to educate your friends so they can go home and be with their families too. So I think that's pretty neat. Do you have any specific tips for children my age or younger? Oh, sure. Yes. Probably the, the first one would be if you're going to be climbing any trees, you need to look up and make sure there's no wires running through those trees that you're getting ready to climb up into. The other one would be kites. Uh, if you're flying a kite, you get it's, it's running loose and it's, it's going to get near a power line. You don't want to be holding on to the, the string when it makes contact with the, the, the power lines. Let go of it. Let it go. Let it run away because you don't want to be, you could get hurt because electricity could come back down that string to you. Another thing would probably be the squirt guns. I, I'm sure you probably played with some of those, those super soaker type guns that squirt 20, 30 feet. Now, you squirt something that's an electrical device with those, the electricity can come back down that water and hurt you. So you got to be real careful around electricity with water. It could be a garden hose, could be a super soaker, any of those things in electricity don't mix. So you got to be real careful with that. And I think swimming and lightning. People get hurt every year because they're in a pool, or they're in a pond, or they're at the ocean, and lightning hits the water, and if they're in the water also, they can get hurt or killed from that. So those are my three greatest tips, I would think. It's really important to respect electricity, isn't it? Absolutely. You have to, or it's going to, it can hurt you if you don't respect it. Electricity travels at the speed of light. You can't beat it. You can't outrace it. So. The fact that there's a wire down and you think you can, you can run fast and run past it, that's not true. It's going gonna, it's gonna to beat you every time. The thing that probably gets more people hurt and killed every year is when they see wires down on the ground and they get too close to them or they touch them. Now the wire could be just, just laying there and there's no arc and there's no spark, there's no noise, there's nothing. So people are going to assume that it's safe and it's not. It could be fully energized. So you have to get an adult, keep people away, keep your friends away, call 911 and get us there so we can make it safe. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me and my friends so I can let them know what's happening. Yeah, my pleasure.